Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to do before you even get started um, setting up your new home screen is you're going to want to organize all of your apps. So as you can see, I only have two pages set up just because I, that's only, that's as far as I can get. Um, but you're going to want to take all of your, um, apps that maybe you don't use as often and go ahead and push those to back pages. So like just create new home pages by holding down and just dragging those icons over to a new page. That's how you create a new page. Um, and then the other thing that I would suggest to you guys, whoop, if I can get this one back over here, um, is be sure that you, um, are organizing your apps by what you need to use first and foremost. So like my most used icons are going to be on my first page. Um, those are going to be like my social media, um, just things that I'm using often, my camera, my photos, things like that. And then try to use, um, your le less used icons on like your second page and your third page and so on. Um, so once you have your apps kind of organized, go ahead and pick a phone wallpaper. So how I did this was I literally just took, and I hope you guys can see this. Um, I'm just going to go to Pinterest and search for whatever it is that you want to do. So for me, it was like a boho, um, iPhone wallpaper, if I can spell. Um, and then you're just going to want to pick a screen that is aesthetically pleasing to you. So, I mean, this would be cute. Um, if you are a MacBook user, you know how to save and then just airdrop that over to your phone. Go ahead and save that as your phone wallpaper by going to your settings. So you're just going to um, go into your settings and change your wallpaper that way. Um, so once you have your wallpaper set up and you kind of have your aesthetic, there are two things that you're going to want to do. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download an app called Widget Smith. You can find this in the App Store. So go to your App Store. You can do this by searching. Um, and it's going to look like this. It is free. It will tell you it is a paid app, um, app just because it has paid options in there. I do not personally use any of the paid options, so you do not have to pay. Um, you're going to go ahead, download that app, and open it. And this is the page that you're going to see. It's going to have small widgets, your medium widgets, and your large widgets. I don't currently have any large widgets, which is why mine are not set up. So what I did was for my calendar on the very first page, I went to that app and to create a small widget. So I'm going to do or a medium widget. So I'm going to do add medium widget, click on that widget, and then you're going to tap it again. And you're going to see all these different options pop up. You could literally just tap the time. Um, you could have the date. Um, you could have anything that you wanted to do. Um, is just up to you. So once you pick a widget, let's just say we're going to go with that one. Then you're going to go down to font. I personally like the New York font the best. Um, it's the one that I think has just like fit my um, feed the, the best. So I pick that. Then you're going to go to tint color. I always leave it as white just because I like to keep mine all um, pretty easy to read. And then background color. So you can choose um, I'm going to ignore my mom. Sorry, mom. Um, you can choose a very opaque or you can choose to drop down that denier. Um, and then you can also pick colors. So like mine are all cream and the pale pink just because they fit my aesthetic, but you can do all sorts of colors. And then there are also options that you can choose. Like say you wanted it to be pink. Um, you can also pick a border. So like I always chose the white border, um, but you could even do like a gray and then you'll go back and it will have your widget right there. And then you're just going to click that save button. And then when you are ready to add a widget to your page, I'm going to just add one here on this random page. For example, hold your finger down on the home screen and you're going to see your apps start to like shake around. Go ahead and tap this plus sign in that top left corner and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you're going to see widget Smith right there. Scroll over to this type of widget that you just made. So for us, we made a medium widget. Click add widget. It's going to pop up just like that. Hold your finger down on it. 
let's see yeah okay hold your finger down on it and then click that widget that you just made so for us it was medium four and then you're going to tap out and now it's on your on that screen um, at any time you want to delete that widget you can just do the same thing um, edit home screen and just take that widget away so it's that easy to add and pull down widgets. You can also add any of these as well. So you don't have to do custom widgets. You could literally just add that you want the forecast to pop up and your forecast would show up. Um, you could also just add in um, maybe photos of your kids or something like that. Like you could literally just do that and pop up kids, photos of your kids. Um, there's lots of options. So like it honestly just depends on what you're exploring and how you're using your device, what's going to be the best for you. But to be able to do those custom widgets, again, you're going to just go down to widget Smith, select your widget. You can do any widget you want. I don't have any large widgets made and that's all you do to change out that widget, tap it, click that small and then pick which one you wanted. That simple. So the other question that I have been getting is how I actually change my icon. So like my Facebook, Pinterest, and my Instagram, and like all my buttons down here, how I change those. So there's two things that you need to do. First, you need to make your icon cover. So for mine, I customized mine on Canva, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use the new app feature called Shortcuts. So we're going to do step one first, and that's using Canva. Okay, so this is Canva. This is what it's going to look like. If you are a graphic designer, then you probably are already familiar with this website. Um, it is free to use. Some of the features and some of the um, designs are paid, and you can upgrade to like your pro. I do have the pro because I use this pretty much daily, um, so it's very, very helpful. Um, these are just some of the graphics that I have made. Um, really, really cool app. I absolutely like Canva. It's probably one of my favorite features of using as a blogger um, okay so how I created my app icons I simply just went up you can pick any type of content post um, I just always pick story uh, Instagram post click a blank post right here um, and then the other thing I have not seen anybody talk about this because Canva is pretty tricky on this um, You're limited on your color options when you have a specific graphic So what I always do is I go to elements and then I just search um, Something like colors or things that have a lot of color in them um, Usually something that fits my aesthetic of whatever I'm doing um, I specifically have used um, this one over and over again. I don't know if you can see that. It just has a lot of colors that again fit the aesthetic on my phone. Um, so as you can tell the colors are very very similar because this is the graphic I was using to pull colors from. So I'm just going to leave that in the top corner of whatever graphic page I'm making and then I'm going to go back over to elements and then let's say we're searching for an Instagram icon. You're going to type in Instagram icon in the search bar, click enter, and it's going to pull up all these different options. Um, so let's say you just wanted something simple like this basic black one, but you wanted it to be um, feed cohesive, so you want it to be a certain color. Click this color block icon, pull that up, and all of the shades from this graphic are also going to be over here. But if you watch this and I delete that, and I go back in to edit it, those colors are gone. So that's why that step is so important because that gives you those additional color palettes. So I'm gonna go back over here and just add that back in really quick to be able to pull those colors. So right there, and then let's go and do Facebook. Let's see. Okay, cool. So we'll do these two to start out with. So tap that color, tap over here, change the color to whatever it is you want, and then it's that easy. So now you have, you know, aesthetically pleasing. So you're gonna just download that, um, pull it out of that top bottom corner, and then for me, since I'm all uh, Apple products, I'm just gonna airdrop that on over to my phone. So you're gonna see it pop up. 
and then it will show up on my phone. So now it's on my phone. So then all I do is I take this and I'm going to screenshot this because now I'm going to have two copies. So then I go back into those photos and I'm going to edit that picture and I'm just going to crop around the specific image that I want to use. So now I have my Instagram icon. I do the same thing to this photo just to get that Facebook one by itself. So now I have my icons. As you can see, I have all of my previous ones as well. So that easy. That's how I create the actual icons in Canva. And you can literally do this with any icon, um, any app. You can also use photos, which I'll explain that in just a second. So it looks like my computer just froze up. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that down so it's not distracting. Okay, so this next step is how you actually change the um, app icon. So you're going to go to your new feature called Shortcuts. It's this right here. It pops up and it's going to look just like this. Since all of mine are already loaded, that's why they look that way. You're going to go ahead and tap that top right corner that has that plus button. And you're going to do add action. And then you're going to go to scripting. That's a really important step. You don't want to just like willy nilly play around in here. You're going to click scripting. And then you're going to click open app. This is basically telling your phone that when you click that uh, that shortcut, this shortcut that you're creating, the command is going to open the app that it responds to. So in our case, we're going to choose, um, I'm just going to do a random one because I already have all of mine set up. So I'm going to do this Barbie game. Um, so let's say I was, you know, want to create a Barbie game on my child's phone. Um, okay, so you've selected that app. Then you're going to go to the little three buttons at this top right corner, click those, and click add to home screen. Here you're going to change the name of that app and you're just gonna call it Barbie game or whatever it is that you wanna call it. And then to change the icon picture, you're gonna tap that button that is like the, the photo and then you're gonna click choose photo and then choose whatever it is that you want. Um, so let's just go ahead and pretend it's Facebook for a second. You're gonna do that it looks just like that and click add and it's going to say add it to your home screen. So then you're going to close out and there's your icon. So now when you open that icon that says Barbie game, it's kind of confusing because it says Facebook, but it's a, it's the Barbie game. Remember when you open that, it's going to pull up that Barbie game. It is lagged a little bit, but that's only because you're using a shortcut and I'll show you guys a way to kind of speed that up, uh, but it goes straight to it. So that easy. I'm going to go ahead and edit that home screen, delete that so it's not confusing. Um, the other thing that you can do to kind of speed your process up with your phone is you can go into your settings and you can go into accessibility down here. It's like in the third section. And then you're going to click, um, where is it at? Um, shoot, what is it? Oh, motion. I'm sorry. Okay. So you're going to open your settings and you're going to click that button that says accessibility down here. So go ahead and click that. And then you're going to want to click motion. So click motion. And then you see that button that says reduce motion. Go ahead and make sure that is slid over. Basically what this will do is instead of it popping up and like making your phone look slow, it will literally instantly pull things up. Like there's no like downtime, there's no like lag time. Everything is more like, you know, speedy and quick and just fast all around. Um, so it really helps with the process of like just the phone in general. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, to get these little widgets with like, you know, the Bible verse or like whatever this is, um, all I did was go to Pinterest, um, you know, whatever it is that I want to want to take a picture of. Um, I'm just going to screenshot that item, go to my photos, edit that item down to like a square and then go back into that widget smith app create a small icon tap that icon tap it again and then i'm going to go to photo under custom 
click that and then click this bottom thing that says selected photo and then you're just going to choose your photo and then you go back save and now if I wanted to add that widget to this page I would just hold down the button okay it cut me off but basically if I wanted to add that widget that we just made I would just hold down the phone screen tap that right corner go all the way down to widget smith tap that small icon add widget and then just simply tap that widget select which one I wanted and there we go there's your widget so it's really easy it's a it's kind of stressful to like start out because you have to do a lot of organizing to your page but once you get going it does get simple um, so don't lose hope make your pretty phone um, and just have fun with it you can change this up daily or you can just leave it alone I probably am gonna leave mine alone because like this took me hours um, so yeah so I hope that was helpful um, if y'all have any questions shoot me a message and I will be glad to answer them or maybe edit this video to add in any clips that would be even more helpful thank you guys so much bye